Auntie Nano came over here to get them some collars. Then put up, you got a video on last week. Yeah, I put it up. I sent it to you. Oh, shut up. I got to look at it. Them ladies had so much fun. Yeah, they did. We enjoyed that. That was so inspiring. I was out of town. I missed it. I missed it. Yeah, you missed it. I was so educational. That's what Linda told me. I was so excited. I missed it. I was out of town. There you go. I'm gonna yeah. Take the whole thing. yeah, let's take the whole thing because uh, yeah. I'm finna get ready to plant my spring. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought so. Uh huh. Put some in the cup. I'll pull them up. You ain't got to worry about it. I'll okay, pull them up. Pull that up. Yeah, I'll pull them up. I'm gonna get wow. this stuff off of uh -huh. This is amazing. Because, see, when I was growing up, we had a vegetable man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He came by and brought, they bought a bushel of this, a pick of that. You know what I'm saying? That's all I know about it. take the whole thing right there? Yeah, take the whole thing. Them turn, them golden bulb turns right down to you, London. Yeah, you can pull the whole thing up on those. Uh-huh. Then you could cook the tops and the bottom. She had some Sunday. She had rutabaga in there. You know I don't like rutabaga, but I did yeah, eat I, it. I, I put the rutabaga in there by mistake. I didn't mean I just put the I love rutabaga. In there. I don't. I revisit stuff I don't like, you know, from time to time. I love some rutabaga. But that rutabaga, like I don't I think you might not get me. you ain't got to eat it, Lois. I still won't eat it because it's in there. Yeah. And I put a few on the side. I just ate them. And I like, nah, Linda still don't like them, but, you know. I keep working at it. Cause I am a senior, like you say, they always give stuff you don't like when you can't feed yourself. Right. <laughs> so I've been trying That's to get right acclimated. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, they be spooming it yeah. up. Back and they up in a puree. I said, yeah. I said, I don't want to spit on nobody, so I got to get the taste of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're going to beat me. Right. They eat it. Uh, they're going to be oh, puree in it. So I said, Mama, you a man. I said, well, so they I give, give you what you don't want. You're a senior. They give you what you don't want. You know you gonna always that. get. Uh, you gonna, gonna eat it today. You gonna eat it today. Right, you gonna get string beans. I don't like those. You gonna, you gonna get black eyed peas. I gonna, don't like those. Oh, you don't like black eyed peas? Uh, they gonna put a little sugar in there. Uh uh. Okay, what you put? Little applesauce on top. Uh uh. uh, -uh. <laughs> okay. So like I say, I do revisit re stuff I don't like from time to time to see if my taste bud change. Yeah. It hasn't changed, so I'm like, no, 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 no. But it is so fun. I made them green beans. I love yeah, me some green beans. Green beans. I cook all of that. Two different kinds. Really? Of yeah. different yeah. kinds. I never knew that. Yeah, Bulldog, Tiger, and Georgia Southern was in here. And I got them mixed all over, so, but you do see some kind of look different than the other one. Yeah, I do. Like those what Auntie Sam got in her hand uh -huh. kind of look a little different. Oh, okay. But I couldn't tell you which one it is. I don't care. I put them all together. That's what I do. I just cook green. We, we finna eat. <laughs> Cause yeah. what I do, what I do, I, I I make screaming greens. I mean, I have the collards, the cabbage, Collins, screaming greens, and the uh, turnip. Mm. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, kale. Yeah. Yep. All of that, and I call them screaming greens. And then I add uh, some uh, fresh pepper to it and cook it. Yeah. Miss Lawrence, I can't believe you a caterer. I know, but and I you don't eat uh, black eyed peas uh -huh. and all the good stuff. I have she cooked old it. City country girl. You know what they told me? <laughs> she old city Look, country girl. I'm uh. cooking for everybody, but I do not eat. It. Wow. <laughs> She's old, cook, old, old city country girl. Yeah. You know, you seen those things. Yeah, I seen. Yeah, that's. that's I'm sorry, you know, I'm just a, a picky eater when I was growing I'm up. I'm picky eater too, really picky. And, and you know, and even um, like I got I said, older, my taste got different. But see, <laughs> that's why I try to revisit those things. But my yeah. taste for them still hadn't changed. Yeah, shoot. Still haven't changed. I didn't used to be really care for no black eyed peas, none of that kind of stuff. Because my brother. And folks put onions in everything. I wouldn't eat none of that. Yeah. He ain't going to nobody's table. Mm -mm. See, my brother, they used to eat the green beans, so I didn't get a whooping for it. Oh, yeah. You know, my older brother, he ate them. He's like, no, don't whoop my sister. He was like, put them on my plate. I put them on his plate. Yeah, I eat green and beans now. Yeah. I only, they only stopped forcing me to eat them when my grandmother told me I did not have to eat them because right. her word was law. Yeah. And my parents did not argue with them. Right. <laughs> in our day, you had to eat everything. Yeah. And but that's the way they raised us. Day. But when she came day. home from work, because she, you know, she used to go to work like uh -huh. on a Monday, come back on Friday. Right. So she came, she was there after church this particular Sunday. And I'm sitting at the table, watered up, because they can't mm. make me eat these green beans. Mm -hmm. And she said, Lord, so what's wrong with you? I said, Granny, they want me to eat the green beans. I don't like them. She said, you don't like them? I said, no, ma'am. She said, you don't have to eat them right in front of my parents. Mm. They were bloody hot, but they ain't say nothing. Yeah. 
So from mm -hmm. that day to this one, yeah. I did not have to eat them all. Green bean. <laughs> I could eat them anyway. I yeah. just sit there and cry to my brothers. Mm -hmm. Lord, no. I said, God, I said, God bless me with seven brothers. I was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. When Khalil, Khalil was my human garbage disposal. See, that was dairy for me. That yeah, Khalil, boy, he go through that kitchen, boy, whatever left over, he can go through that. I used to love that. Man. I know that. Now, dairy, dairy daughter. Dairy want to eat green beans. I'm telling you how you start eating green beans. Mm -hmm. Tell them nothing. Well, they're just like eating green beans. Oh, ketchup, bro. Ketchup. Uh. Ew. Really? Bubbles. That's the way, way bubbles showed about to do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how he did. That's how he did. That's how he started eating that's ketchup. ketchup. Oh, my God. Yeah, get all them little young ones right there. Yeah, they all, all them young ones. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. See, that was my succession plant. And, like, I plant... And then I come back and hit them with some small, you know, seeds up on them mm -hmm. for the second. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so that would have been the second growing mm -hmm. um, of uh, green. Without yes, the greens. Lord, that's going to be a good one right oh, there, yeah. baby. You want some of these? Yes, girl, yeah. You know, let's go put it in the bag. We'll get it. <laughs> Thanks, so we'll get it. We'll get it, yeah. Because the ones you cook Sunday were really good, too. Turn the green. When she said turn the green, I was like, you had me then. We said, I'm cooking turn up because that's what I wanted. I, I really uh, enjoyed them ladies at the church. You did. You yeah. could have enjoyed them more than they enjoyed you. Oh, man. They, you could have enjoyed them half as much as they enjoyed <laughs> you. Baby. Especially that one that, uh, uh, to my, so my, I got my yard already. Uh, my that's, husband that, 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 that tilled it. That's 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 Sister Cersei. Cersei. I got her on my video too. That doggone thing funny. Then one lady grabbed me last night and said, I mess around, got home, and I dropped my seed. I dropped my squash. Oh, I bring some more. Right. I put them in a thing. You got to open it up or something. You don't, it don't went back closed. It went back closed. You just pulled a little. Let your hand go back and forth. Keep it pushed okay. down that way. Yeah. I'm just saying going to work on these colors. Yeah, no, I need to get them out of here because uh, I'm getting ready to plant my spring garden. So what do you plant in spring? Everything? Oh, turns, I'm, I'm getting the top. I got, uh, okay, so we can... I got, uh, I'm going to have cucumbers, all kind of tomatoes, okay. uh, all kind of peppers. Ron finally put that, that tree in the ground. He told him. They're about to bloom and make them. Yeah. On the back of the truck. That's the thing about air layering them. Uh, they're, they're already blooming. So when I do an air layer, you get a tree that's going to fruit th this uh -huh. year if, it, if the frost don't get it. Yeah. I yeah. told them do, but just cover it up. Yeah. Like you see those right there that with the white on it? That's a pear air layer I did off of that tree. Mm -hmm. And then the other one with the little blooms on it, that's another plum tree. So that's how I get free trees. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how I air layer them. I get free trees because them trees over there, like that June Princess Nectarine, that real pretty one over there. Oh, she costs a lot of money now. I had to pay for her, all of them really, but her, she. Uh huh. They were like, they were like, yeah. And I'm a, I'm a air layer the the tall ones. I'm a air layer that and get taller trees out of them. Instead of just pruning them, uh, I'm going to air them getting layer. other trees. Uh, that makes sense. And that's how I just, I'm able to give trees away. Because uh -huh. Ron said, yeah, you already gave me two trees. I have a guy that gave them to him. <laughs> he said, I think, uh, what's the baby name? Um, uh, he said, I think Bailey uh, broke them or something. He was saying, I said, yeah. I said, she probably just run around playing. Yeah. No. Nah. You know, because sometimes they be looking like little sticks out there. And they love my scratch them. I got country children. <laughs> <laughs> they love playing in the yard, honey. And see, this gonna help me right here. Um, I come back and pull all these roots up. Some people just cut it and let the roots stay in there, mm -hmm. but I know that these collard greens will come back. They'll come back. Oh, yeah. Yes, they will. Yeah. I took yeah. them during bottom, like cutting this out like this. Yeah. And I stuck it, just stuck it in the, in a pot. Girl, I got some of the best collard you ever want to see. Really? Thick. Maybe yeah. If you take this thing home yeah. right here <laughs> and put it, in yeah. It'll Especially if you color. can keep it somewhere, you can get somewhere shady. shady. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. 
Hey, babe, when your, your patio get a lot of sun, I take that dirt with me. Now, some of those are purple top turnips, and then some of them, I might have got the rutabagas out. This rutabaga? No, I think those might be turnips, but I got, I had turnips and rutabagas in here. Okay. They look just about alike. Okay. But this uh, rutabaga is much bigger, right? Yeah, but they, mine ain't let them get too big. You're welcome. Thinking about us. Oh. That's why I put all this stuff in the ground for. I don't be playing, man. I see. Huh? Playing for the children. <laughs> I say playing for the children. I ain't playing out here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Over in that corner, yeah, and then some of those collars. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, something to add out, add down in the tea room on the 24th. I saw it, Auntie Sansa. Auntie, I repeat, Yeah. They ain't gonna be out of town. Mm hmm. You watch that. Check this out, look at the after. Yes, sir. They came in here and went through these greens in this bed. All the turnips in this bed. So all I gotta do is just come and get the rest of the stuff out of here and get these weeds out. I don't pull a lot of the roots out of this ruts from the uh collars in here. Still got some collars in here. I'm going to let some of these see what they do. Then they came and got all of the uh, turnips and mustard green that was in this bed. So these beds are about ready to be amended. We're going to save these right here. These turnips right here uh, for my sister. And then we still got plenty of collard greens for my sister. So she can come and get her some. We'll, you know, me and my sister, we'll share the rest of these. We still got greens and kale and whatnot in these containers. All right, I, I, hey, this really makes me feel good that I can help my family. They can come get fresh vegetables. Now you see why I grow so much. It's not for me. It's for them. And uh, I get my feel and my family get to come get fresh uh, greens and tomatoes and whatever I have. So my family's been really good to me all my life. And uh, there's nothing for me to give back. Anytime they call, I'm on my way. Yes, indeed.